What's up guys? So, on a little bit of a road trip today. There's, we've got the Seven Bridge there. It's pretty foggy, but on the other end, we've got Wales. We're at low tide now, on a big 12 and a half metre. Um, got a gear up there on the corner. So, you know, we had to get here nice and early because it's, it's a two, two hour and a bit drive. If we get here and there ain't a spot, you know, it sort of screws things up. But we got our spot we wanted. Um, just having a scout through the rocks here. Just looking for little bits of line like that. Just to see if there's uh, any weights on the end. <clears throat> I've got one already. That's a bonus. But yeah, you can just make out the channel out there. It's a long way out. We're going to have this little snaggy area uh, to get the fish up and over. But yeah. Just having a scout along the beach. I'm going to walk out a little bit just to see what the ground's like. Obviously stay safe. But uh, yeah, hopefully I can find a few more leads. Loves a freebie. But these rocks are very slippery. In the summer they'll dry out a bit, but down in winter, the tide comes right up near top of the wall there. And uh, oh, another bit of line, two bits of line. And these rocks get submerged and you won't well, they won't dry out. Nothing there. Nothing there. There's a big nest there. Someone's obviously been there already. No, nothing there either. <clears throat> But yeah, you always want to take your time when going over the rocks. Especially these uh, ones that are covered in seaweed. Another bit of line. You can always tell when you're in the right place because uh, you'll find a lot of fishing line. <coughs> no, nothing there. <coughs> Right guys, so I just got the first rod set up. <clears throat> Been here for a couple of hours just to get our spot. Don't know if you can see. I'll try and zoom it in, but how many anglers are down there? One of the first ones here. Got someone set up just down there. They'll get washed out soon. But yeah, we're just waiting for the tide to come up. It won't be too long before we'll be able to cast on the top of here. Um, we've got a pulley panel. <clears throat> and I'm trying these Mustad Demon Circle Hooks out in 4.0. But yeah. Get the other rod set up in a minute. Same style, same rig. <clears throat> Bait wise, I've got some a couple of peelers in there. And then squid and black lug wrap. This is squid and carp. Um, pack of squid. Pack of squid for Pete. Another squid and black. Got three wraps of fresh blacks. Um, and some blow like I dug yesterday. Da -da -da. But yeah, hopefully there's some fish about. Twenty-five past three now. I'm just going to walk down, 
with uh, one rod and a tripod and have a chuck out. You might as well just take your tripod. Yeah, we can use both. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to have a chuck out. I'm just going to put a squid and black lug wrap. Just a pre-frozen one from Solent Baits. It's actually squid and cart, this one. Nice and easy. So we, we are here, we're down there. There we go. Nice squid bait. Nice proud hooks there. Just gonna whip it on. There we go, rod's out. Just got one each at the moment, me and Andrew down here. Got our bodyguard watching our stuff out the top. But it's a hell of a tide pool. We expected it anyway, but <clears throat> hoping uh, yours seems to have found a little hole. But we'll see. Still got a fair way to come up yet before we can fish off the top. But there's loads of people down there. Pete's right down the end at the minute. There's a couple of lads there who have set up there. And then we're us three will be at the top. Then you've got two rods there. Two, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two rods, twenty-four. 26, 28 rods along that wall. That's mental. Hopefully, there's some fish about. It's been foggy all day. Right guys, so I'm just gonna prepare a few Squid and black luck, black lugger uh, cocktail baits. <clears throat> right, there's the uh, fresh blacks. The squid's not quite defrosted, but that's fine. As long as I can get one out. There we go. Right, let's lay that on there. I'm gonna whip this a little bit first. Just so it holds it on the bait tool. I'm just gonna push it up a little bit. I don't want it to be too long. Right, then Get your black lug, throw it on the ground, we'll firm up. There we go. Fold them in half. 
and whip them on. There we go. Snap that off. And there we've got a lovely black lug and squid cocktail bait for hopefully a nice juicy cod. Just gonna make a few more of them up. Right guys, about 10 minutes before high tide. Um, no bites yet. I've not had too much to, uh, you know, video, but. We've got both rods out now. Both with uh, squid and black lug wraps. Don't know if you'll be able to see where the water is. Right, it's just coming over them rocks. But yeah, no bites, no fish. Very quiet. Probably another 10 or so anglers come up, so that's another, well, probably about 38 rods or so. But give it another hour here, and then uh, we're going to move location and uh, fish it on the way down. So hopefully, we do pick up a fish tonight of some sort. But, but me there, Pete there, and Andrew and Charlie down there. Right guys, we finished up at Seven Beach. Um, no bites between us, didn't see anyone else have anything down there either. We've moved to Portishead uh, Slipway now. So, we're down here, all three of us set up. Apparently you can fish this uh, all the way down, all the way up. So, give it a few hours, see what's happening. If, if it's dead still, then uh, we'll probably shoot off home. If it, you know, if we get a few fish and that, then we'll uh, stay until it dries up. But, yeah, another little location to try out. Just uh, hope it's not a blank. <laughs> 